everybody, this is QP Wife, and we are in New Holland on Route 23 East. And I just thought we would do a fun things to do on uh, 23. So right now we're passing this giant reuse it shop of New Holland. That's a really fun place if you like to go to secondhand stores, you'll find everything in there. And we're gonna be heading through the town of New Holland seems to be super busy right now. It's uh, mid-November and it's a chilly 47 degrees um, and it's Friday, Friday afternoon and there's a New Holland shopping center just like with your normal stuff. Comfort Inn to the right and the New Holland Family Restaurant. That's a good spot if you're around this area to get a bite to eat. And we're passing New Holland Agriculture on the right side. I always like, oh, they have really cute hay bales and stuff. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but um, here, I'll try to do this real quick. I just have a bunch of cool little fall decorations. Okay. And then this is coming into the town of New Holland. And we're gonna be heading through um, New Holland and then we'll stay on 23 and we'll go through Blue Ball, East Earl, where Shady Maple is, and the little town of Goodville, and we'll finish it up in Churchtown, because there's actually a lot of fun little things in Churchtown to do, and it's right past Shady Maple, so if you're, you know, in Lancaster County at Shady Maple, Churchtown's a fun little spot to go to that not too many people know about, and it's literally like five minutes down the road from Shady. There's a lot of car dealers in New Holland. I think at one point I may have gotten a car up here a long, long time ago. Palermo Pizza is up here on the left. And once a year, um, they have a big New Holland Fair and those fairgrounds are somewhere down to the right. It's fun. There's like art, judging contests, and 4-H um, contests. Plus they have like food and rides and stuff. So that's pretty fun if you're here. I think that's maybe sometime in the summer, but I'm not 100% sure. If you're in New Holland, you can check the website. But they have a really good fair in this town once a year. This is a, first, this is a neat antique place on the right. They have really cool stuff in there, kind of unique things that you don't really see too many places. Country store is to the left. And I'm looking for Kaufman's hardware store. It, I hope it's 
still here. I haven't been to New Holland in a while, but it's like the best hardware store ever. But if you're in New Holland, there's um, there's a lot of cute shops right in the middle of town and restaurants. Hotel to the right. Radio Shack is to the left. I didn't even think they had any Radio Shacks. I don't know if that place is open or what. Looks like it is. Radio Shack was popular when I was a teenager. That's where we would go and get all of our like cool electronic stuff back then. Up here to the right um, is a huge community for over 55 called Garden Spot Community and I think they have some stuff going on there like you know maybe some craft fairs for Christmas and things like that. They have a marathon and half marathon um, starting in Garden Spot there every year. And it's a really hilly course. Coffee Company right to the right. Country Squire Inn and Suites. It's another lodging place that we just passed on the right. That's a, you're running um, up Welsh Mountain and down. It's a really hilly course. So if you're a runner and you want a challenge, that's a good one. Oh boy, what are, looks like water main break or something. spots to grocery shop is Yoder's Country Market. That's to the right. They also have a buffet there and a banquet hall. Um, so that's really fun. It's smaller than Shady Maple and we're literally right down the road from Shady Maple, but it's another nice alternative to Shady Maple if you want something a little bit smaller. So there's the grocery store, which is the country market, the restaurant and buffet, and then they have the separate banquet um, rooms right in the same facility and they also have a really cute little gift shop and bookshop in there too so there's a lot of little fun things right to do in that little shopping center and like I said it's nothing like the size of Shady Maple but it's still a really nice buffet on a smaller scale with the same like Dutch cooking vibe in there so that's a good one and there's also a TSC to the left right across the street from Yoder's We'll see how close we are from Yoder's to Shady Maple. Paper products, wholesale and retail, that's a cool spot if you need like, you know, paper, napkins, party supplies and stuff like that. I think they might have like special bags and I don't know, stuff of that nature. I haven't been in there probably for 20 years, but I remember it was pretty nice. And then we're entering into, this is considered Blue Ball, Pennsylvania. It's just a little town in between New Holland and East Earl. And that's where we are right now. And there's a um, thrift shop right to, down this road here to the right. This is the intersection of 23 and 322. 
So we're gonna head straight, continue on uh, 23 East, but if you wanted to go to Ephrata, you would turn left here and head 322 West. If you stay on 322 East, which is bearing to the right, that'll take you into Honeybrook. So we're gonna be kind of staying in the middle, heading on 23 East, and that's gonna bring us right um, by the Shady Maple Shopping Complex in East Earl. And there's Carini's Italian restaurant. I've never eaten there, but it's been there for a really long time. And they're always pretty busy, so I'm assuming they have pretty good food. There's a little boutique to the left. And I don't know what that boutique has in there. They've changed hands a couple times, but that looks really cute in there. There's a new sportsman's shop coming up here on the right, right past this Dollar General. Right there on the left, 
but they have closed and they used to sell penny candies and fabric and it's one of those stores where you go in and you ask for something and then somebody goes into a room where you can't see and they come out with it. It's one of those stores that have like a little bit of everything, but that's closed. That was a really cool place. This is Sensenex um, Produce and Flower Farm. They have seasonal items there.
talk your ear off, but there are so many things to do in that stretch. So I hope you enjoyed that, and um, it was just a nice drive to do today. So I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.